one. Okay. <laughs> Just as I said that Magnum put his face So on Mag that. and I are going to do a review on the new Bauer router. Router, easy for me to say. Well, maybe Mag's not that interested after all. I think he's just going to hang out. So um, we got this new Bauer router. This is the one that Harbor Freight sells. And this is uh, basically, it's like a knockoff of the Makita. So I want to do a, a review on it. I kind of already unboxed it. But um, anyway, I've and I, this is, uh, let me uh, kind of explain what I'm doing here. So this is the original base. You guys know that we... We put our base plate on every router that, that I use, and then we opened up the back side. Uh, I'll put, um, I think it was uh, video number 50 where Dad showed how to cut this hole. So this was actually this piece of rubber went all the way across. All the way across. This was completely closed in. This is here. Uh, first of all, I have to say, guys, this is my review. This is what I look for when I'm buying a router for carving signs. This is not really necessarily a review for the router in general for doing edging or cabinetry or that kind of thing. The, these reviews that I do on these routers are just for me for what I look for for carving signs and I'm going to give you my opinion of it. Um, but anyway, so we open up the backside, we put our base plate on and this is, uh, this is now ready for me to start using in carving signs. but um, So I'm going to do a, a comparison of this against the Makita because I haven't happened to have the Makita too. So um, I, as far as the unboxing, we've got the instructions. Obviously, no need for those. We got, um, again, my review guys. We've got wrenches and these are double wrenches even though this has got a shaft lock on it. Um, which is what you're going to use most of the time for doing for taking the bit in and out in case somehow this shaft lock goes bad they throw an extra wrench in so you can do a double wrench setup if you don't have because these have these do go bad once in a while with it I've had one I think on uh, on my big DeWalt that it just kind of went out the spring psh, it was gone anyway so you want to keep these double wrenches this is an edge guide uh, that they throw in there. Let me see. Um, so this is an edge guide along with this. This goes in here. Got no use for that. So I'm not an edge guide guy. So that's just extra metal. If you guys need one of those, you can stop by and pick it up. Anyway, I'm just not an edge guide guy. For you guys that do want the edge guide, don't do that. Anyway, so we keep the wrenches. We're going to keep this just as, so we have the whole pattern for um, future use on if, if this somehow pattern gets messed up. So now let's, uh, let's move on to the good stuff. So um, I have, uh, I've got my Makita here. And if you really look at these, they are really, really similar. Very, very similar, but they're not the same. So let me explain the differences between the two. First of all, they are my chair, <laughs> so I don't go up, end up on the ground. They're pretty much the same height. Um, they look to be the same diameter. However, we're going to talk about that in a minute. I've got the 90 degree uh, bit in there. I'm going to do a little cleanup here in a bit. So um, the um, the actual rack and pinion thing is really really similar very close these aren't plugged in by the way so they're very close that way so here is the um they go on these things go on pretty well it's not my favorite this the rack and pinion like this isn't my favorite uh depth adjustment i really like the 611 with the ring on it but um but actually it works pretty well so um this is just to prove that these aren't the same. I'm going to try and put this on the Makita and uh, it won't go. Now I could theoretically, and this is something you guys want to pay attention to, this lock nut, if I backed that off a little bit, this might open up enough that it would go on there, but there's no really real reason to. I assumed that this was all going to be interchangeable but uh, that's not the case. So here is the Makita. 
um, the Makita housing. This will go on the Bauer, but you can see it's not real tight. Now again, if I wanted to tighten that lock nut up, that would close this a little bit, and it's possible I could use this on here, but I'm not even going to attempt it because there's just no reason to. Um, so they are a little bit different diameter. There's no doubt about that. I, I don't know, just a few thousands off. Uh, from the actual look, other than the color, they're pretty much the same. You've got the switch and the variable speed pretty much in the same position on both of them. Um, pretty much the same as far as the switch goes. They are both 6.5 amp. Uh, they're both from 10,000 to 30,000 RPMs. The, the labels match up uh, exactly the same that way. Um, I turned them on and uh, they sound pretty much the same. So I'm pretty sure that they are uh, as far as the same power. Now, the thing that I do like about both of these is uh, they're the closest that I found in the trim routers that is as powerful, almost as powerful as the 611. I probably have a 611 around here. Yeah, the 611 is, um, uh, it's 7 amp. So they don't go by much by horsepower. So here's the 611. This is 7 amp, and these are 6.5 amp. All of the other ones that I use, like the Bosch, the Bosch I think is 5 and a half. The, um, the Rigid I think is 4 and a half. So these are as close to the 611 from a power standpoint, which I really like, which I'll probably keep my, uh, my background, my 90 degree. This is the bit that I use for, um, for my cleanup, for my background around uh, outset letters, and I'll be doing a test on, on uh, the Bauer. I don't need to test the Makita. I just put that in there so they, were, they would look similar. But um, that is, uh, that's kind of it as far as comparing them. They're pretty much the same height. You know, everything is, is really, really close. Um, so, uh, and again, I'm not sure what the Makita goes for. I think it's, must be upwards of 120, 130. This one retails at 69.95 at Harbor Freight, I believe. I know some people have got them for 60 or maybe even a little bit less. Um, so what we'll do is I'm going to lay out, uh, no, actually, I'm just going to grab a scrap board. I'll kind of change my setup here and we'll, uh, we'll actually give it a, give it a cut, see how it cuts. So we'll be right back. Okay. So I've just got a, a, a scrap piece of pine. Uh, I've, again, I've got my 90 degree background bit in there. I'm just going to do some texture just to kind of see how it, uh, how it works out. Uh, I know pretty much how the Makita cuts, and uh, so I'm going to kind of compare that, see how this cuts in, uh, in comparison to that. I, I'm not even going to put my cheaters on because obviously, uh, oh, gosh, I didn't say I got this set, uh, yeah, right at about a quarter of an inch, which is about as deep as I ever go on any of my stuff. So um, I wanted to give it a really good, uh, good hard test. Can you turn the cord towards you? Oh yeah, I guess I need to do that, don't I? Yeah. So I wanted to give it a good solid test in uh, in this select pine, and uh, we'll just uh, run it and see how it works. Here we go. Oh, I got it on. I always run my routers on full uh, full power or full spindle speed. That's just uh, unless I'm cutting acrylics or something like that. But if I'm cutting wood, generally speaking, almost always it's going to be full speed. So here we go. Nice. 
Wow, that cuts really nice, guys. That um, I just did a sign. The sign I did on Monday, that little teapot that I did. I think I had this bit in um, in my Bosch, which I think is four and a half, or maybe it's five and a half amps. But man, this one seems so much more powerful. Um, yeah, I'm I'm real. I'm definitely going to keep this bit in this router. Um, and I hadn't thought about that before. If you go back and watch my old videos, I was always saying that if you're going to do a lot with a bit like this, you want to have it in a bigger router like the 618 or the 616 or a um, or like a Porter Cable 690LR, you know, full-size router. Uh, but these little routers, these little palm routers, they can definitely do it, especially one that's got six and a half amp, let alone the, the DeWalt that's got seven amp. But um, I want to, the one thing I did notice, as soon as I turned it on that I didn't notice before, let me turn it on, and um, this is directly related to a question I got about, um, a router when you turn it on or any power tool when you turn it on and boom it starts immediately at full speed um, there are uh, most most routers are that way but I noticed this is a soft start so uh, when I turn it on you'll notice that it kind of graduates up to full speed which is uh, that is actually really cool especially if somebody um, somebody maybe has arthritis in their hands and there maybe doesn't have maybe it's a, a female that doesn't have the the hand strength uh, a soft start like that it's pretty it can be pretty cool uh, but now I'm curious I don't remember if the Makita actually has a soft start so always when you plug you know check the switch make sure it's off although I, I think that is off I don't know, the, the circles and the dashes, it always confuses me. Anyway, I'm going to expect when I plug it in that it's going to be on. Hopefully it's not. It's not. So I guess, I guess now I just learned, in case you didn't know, the O is off. Okay. O is for off. Well, then what's the dash for? How does dash relate to on? doesn't, but O is off and the only other option is on. I don't think it's actually an O. I think it's a but circle. it's an O. Let's check and see if this is a soft start. I don't know, it doesn't seem as, as soft a start as that one. Let me try that again. Yeah, it is kind of a soft start, but this seems like this start is even softer. Definitely. Definitely a soft start. Anyway, so I learned something there. So anyway. Both you of these. The O is for off. Huh? You learn that the O is for off. The O is just means it's a broken circuit. That's what the O. o it's not it's really off. an O. It's, it's an a o. circle. It I is think an it o. means. I don't know. I told you that with the compressor. O is off. All right. So uh, the dash means on, evidently. So that means obviously dash. because on. yeah, you're you're <laughs> dashing off. <laughs> yes. Nobody asked your advice back there. Shh. Anyway, all right. I'm so, a very simple-minded person, so right. that's simple to me. It's not an O, it's a circle. It's an anyway. O for O. Okay, um, if any of you guys can answer that question, I would love to know if that is an O Just and agree it with means me. off. No, I'm not. Always. I'm not going to. Oh no, gosh. I won't do it. Anywho, so... Um, Two thumbs up for the Bauer. And again, whatever you save in it, I, I really can't see. Actually, I think I like the soft start better, especially if you're, you know, if you have some arthritis in your hands. Uh, actually, it was Tessa was asking me about a router. She wanted to get a newer router that didn't have the immediate real fast start. So I really like that. Um, and it that has plenty of power to do anything that you want to do. So, uh, yeah, definitely. The Bauer is, is definitely, and I actually I have a cordless Bauer uh, circular saw that I love. I love that thing. It's a little five inch or something, but it's uh, it's a great little circular saw. So I gotta say the Bauer tools, in in my opinion, so far, 
Um, everything that I've tried, uh, Bauer is so much better than some of the cheap brands that uh, that Harbor Freight has carried in the past. I won't even buy anything that says Chicago on it anymore. I've just been disappointed so many times. So anyway, but the Bauer brand, I, I'm liking it. Now they, they have other brands. I think they've got Hercules and they've got some others. Uh, I haven't tried any of that stuff. I think Dad actually has some Hercules drills, but now I'm getting way off topic. You are. The Bauer is uh, is Bauer definitely good. The Bauer is oh, is, is, is the best way to go. Bauer, bow wow. Yes, the Bauer is a good router. And uh, anyway, so I would suggest the and and here's a hint that like I kind of have mentioned, the more powerful the router is, the heavier cut you want to make with it if you have the option to have multiple routers. I think I've got two, maybe three routers now. Two of each, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I love the fact that I've got a bunch of routers. It's so cool. I very rarely have to change router bits. But anyway, so uh, this is a 6.5. This is where I'll keep my cleanup, or if I'm gonna do another heavy operation, I'll, uh, I'll definitely use the Bauer or the Makita, both being 6.5s. So, I guess that's about it, guys. That's about uh, as much time as of yours as I can waste for today. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky, for dragging that out with you're your right. comments. Hey, um, I'm right. You're wrong. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, we uh, Vicky would love for you to subscribe <laughs> so you can listen to more of her uh, bloviations. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, and don't forget to click that little bell icon so you get notified because we do four videos every week. So the next video you'll see is Friday Night Live. This one will be special. Vicki and I actually are going to be, I believe, in Phoenix. We're doing a demo coming up. Oh, yeah, if you guys are in the Phoenix area, on March 7th, we're going to be at Wine, uh, wine, wine Glass Bar, Bar. Sawmill. Uh, like the first part of the day for a few hours doing a demo. Vicky will be there. I know that's the one you want to see anyway. We may have a picture of Dad, so you guys can get a little fix there. I'm just going to be making sawdust. So if you guys want to stop by, stop by. We'd love to say hi to you, and uh, you can hang out. I think they're going to be serving like free hot dogs and whatnot. Anyway, Lavore and Rex down there have a great place. If you guys are into lot, probably. Number two is my favorite. Yeah, if you guys are into live edge stuff and uh, slabs and all that, they got all kinds of cool uh, lumber mill pieces and they've got a router sled. Vicky's going to be shopping. It's, it, it's really a cool place. You could spend a couple hours in there easy just looking at their live edge slabs and all the stuff that they do. Anyway, I really appreciate Lavore and uh, Rex for inviting us down. But yeah, we're going to be having fun, hanging out. So come by and say hi. We'd love to see you. And uh, we will see you uh, next on Friday night. We'll be talking about it when we do our live on Friday night. And Saturday morning is the day we'll be out at uh, the sawmill. So anyway, guys, love you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.